Okay, in this video, we're going to do the negation of AND. Now, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to show you the negation of AND, and then we'll go over it um, in a little bit. So let's say I have the following statement. Let's say I have a login you know, on, the, on a website, a login, like a bank account or an email. And I have the statement, the name is correct. You know, you put in your username, and it's correct. And the password is correct. Is correct. Now, what's the negation of this statement? Well, let's think of it logically. If you're trying to log in to an account, well, the only way you're going to get in is if the name is correct and the password is correct. So what has to happen so that you can't get access to the account? Well, that would have to be the following. So the negation would be name is not correct. And that makes sense, right? If your username's not correct, you're not going to get access. Or the password is incorrect. Uh, so I'll say is not correct. Now, the problem here is most people understand you know, name is correct is the original, so name is not correct is the negation. That makes sense. But why in the world do we go from and to or? And that's what I'm going to spend most of the um, video doing. So at this point, if all you wanted to know was how do you negate and, well, this is how you would do it. If you had a statement, P, some, some statement, P, like this could have been uh, username is correct, okay, or um, all monkeys like to fly, I don't know, some statement, and Q, then the negation would be, well, you can say negate P or negate Q. That's it. So that's the negation of and. Uh, stick around, and if you, if you stick around, I will explain why and negates to or. Okay? So, uh, okay, and we're back. Uh, so the example we're going to go over is a login. So the experiment to uh, see what, what happens when we negate and, we're going to use this login example. So I have the following statement. You will, you'll log in when your name is correct. Okay, doesn't, your name isn't correct. I mean, it's not the actual word correct. But your name is um, entered incorrectly, and your password is entered incorrectly. And if you satisfy this statement, you get access. Okay. Um, now, before we, we do this, um, let me just go back here. We have, uh, with an AND statement, or any statement really, you have the realm of possibilities. So in this login, you're either going to get access, okay? so you either get access or you don't. Now, you get access if your username and password is entered correctly, or you, and then, or you don't get access. Now, what has to happen so that you, you can't get access? And that's what we're going to focus on right now. So let's say, uh, oh, so let's take a look at the code real fast. Code, where is it? There we go. All right, so this is what I want to show you, which is right here. So if my name, my username is Brian, and my password is correct. Okay, so these are the actual, my username is Brian, and my password is the word correct. Now, if I enter this in correctly, because you can see the and, if my username is Brian, I entered that in correctly, and my password is correct, then I, uh, access is granted, means I get into my account. Otherwise, else, okay, otherwise, access is denied. So the only way that I can get access is if I have my name correct and my password correct. So what has to happen for me to not get access? All right, so let's find out. So let's say I type in my name, and let's say my password is correct. Okay. So let's see what happens. OK, so access is granted because I entered in a true username, which was Brian. I entered in my true password, which is correct, and I get access. Okay, So simple enough. If I enter in the correct name, but let's say I have the wrong password. Let's see what happens. 
Well, access is denied. And let's see why. Well, even though that I had the true username, which was Brian, I had the incorrect password, right? Because I had Brian was my username, but my password was wrong, so that was false, and so I don't get access. Okay. All right, that's our second possibility. Let's see, what is this? Okay, fix that later. All right, so let's say I have the pass or my username is wrong. But let's say my password is correct. So let's say I enter my password correctly, but I don't remember my username. Should I get access? No, access denied. It's because I had, even though I had the right password, true password, I had a false username. So no, no access. So, I mean, it should make sense. I mean, you've, you've um, logged into an email or um, a bank account before, so you know how this works. And let's say I have the wrong username. So let's just enter in a wrong username and wrong password. Okay. Should I get access? Well, we know we shouldn't. So let's see what happens. Log in, access denied, and it's because we had a false name and a false password, and so no access. Okay, so when we're dealing with the realm of possibilities, so let's go back to this picture right here. I get access when I have the correct username and the correct password. So my negation would be everything else. Okay. Now with the, the possibilities that I have here, looks like I have four of them. And then here's the true pass or true name and true password, so I get access. So these are the three other possibilities. So all of these okay, count as all together count as the negation. So how would I make a statement so that all of these fall under that statement? Well, let's type in negation and let's find out. So login. So you do not gain access when. Okay, so name is not correct or password is not correct. So does this statement include these three possibilities? So what this is saying is that I don't gain access if my name is not correct. Well, that, exa that happens right here and right here. My name is not correct, so I did not gain access. Now the or allows me to have both of these happen or one of them. Okay, as long as one of these happens, we're true. So if my name is not correct, I don't gain access. If my password is not correct, which is here and here, I don't gain access. So as, a, as a, the whole statement, this allows for any one of these three possibilities, which means it's the true negation, because you're either going to get access or you're not. And this statement okay, includes these three possibilities. And it matched the rule that we had. You're going to negate the first component. So what's the negation of name is correct? Well, it's name is not correct. The negation of password is correct? Well, it's password is not correct. And the and changed to an or. Okay, so that's how we develop, or that's the reason, because again, the whole point of this was to try to understand why the negation of an and went to an or. Um, but just for the fun of it, what happens if, you know, I'm a programmer, you know, uh, and I programmed the login to a bank account, and I use the word or. Let's just see what happens. So let's start over. Ignore this part here. So let's say I had my right name, okay, because you might know somebody's username, but let's say you just make up a password. Let's see, do I gain access? I do. I gain access because I use the word or, meaning that the name could be correct or the password. And if either one are correct, I gain access, which is why you do not use the or when um, programming a login. Okay, so the, in the next video will probably have some examples of how to negate and. Uh, and if you have any requests, please send me an email.